My name is Tim and welcome to The Decent Garage. We're back on Long Bed Larry today. We're gonna get the cab cleaned out, assess what metal work needs to be done. I know there's some patches that need to be done. They were done poorly by the previous owner. So let's go check it out and get as much done as we can. All right, the first thing we need to do is get all the stuff out of the cab. We have all the parts in there to rebuild the truck. So we gotta get it out so we can do all the body work. Alright guys, we got everything out. That was pretty easy. What we're going to do now before I cut this patch out, I'm going to pressure wash the whole inside of here. It's got some cheap bed liner on it, so I'm hoping the pressure washer takes a lot of that off. We'll cross our fingers, but if not, we'll at least get a bunch of the dirt and debris out. All right, we got all the parts out. We got the doors taken off. We got the whole cab pressure washed. It's looking good. So there's a quick view of it. Very, very clean. The pressure washer did not take off some of the bed liner like I had hoped. So I'm gonna look into another method to do that. But it has finally cooled down today. It's been super hot. I ordered some radiant insulation for the garage door so that I can keep it a little cooler in there so it's more tolerable to work during the summer. So I'm gonna go get that done real quick and then in the morning we will hit this patch. All right guys, we got that garage door all insulated. Take a look at that. So hopefully that'll cut down a little bit on the heat during the summer. I may do some actual foam insulation in the winter, we'll see. But here we are back on Long Bed Larry on the cab, getting ready to do this patch, but I decided I was gonna play around with getting some of this old bed liner off. And I asked you guys on Instagram, what's the best way to do it? What's the best way to remove old bed liner? Wire wheel, flap disc, chemicals, I need your help, let me know. And I tried, I think everyone's suggestions, I tried dry ice, I tried a wire wheel, I tried other things. The butane torch with the scraper worked the best by far for me. I think if this was thicker bed liner, like actually in a bed and it was laid in there really thick, the dry ice probably would have worked better. But this is fairly thin, so the heat just expands it a little bit and you just scrape away.
All right, so here's the patch that we're gonna start on. You can see how ugly it is, um, but honestly, the piece they used for the patch is not bad. So I think what I'm gonna do before I cut the piece out, I'm gonna try and grind some of these welds down and just see if this is potentially salvageable. If I can grind the welds down and weld it nicer, that may work. I don't have high hopes for that. I think what I'm gonna have to do is just cut the whole piece out and make my own patch panel. But we'll try that real quick and see. All right, so I ground on the weld a little bit. Here it is. You can see actual holes all the way through. So I was thinking, ah, maybe I can weld it. But then I was like, let me check the underneath. Let me show you the underneath. We're not gonna save this patch. So here's the underneath. You can see there's a piece right here. I mean, it's just garbage. So we're gonna cut it out and make a new patch. All right, we got the patch cut out right there. So that's what we have to fill in. Look at this patch. It is horrible. I don't know what someone was thinking, but we have to come up with a patch for this now. So what I'm gonna do is a little CAD cardboard aided design as Rudy and Matt and Robbie would all call it. I'm gonna get some cardboard and make up a patch, kind of make it how I want. I don't have a bender, so I'm really not gonna be able to bend it. So I'm probably, I think what I'm gonna do is actually just, uh, you know, weld the pieces together at different angles how I need it. I got a new welder that I think can handle that. So wish me luck, I think it'll work. I'll show you guys that whole process of cardboard aided design in the next video, because guess what? It's the day of the veterans car show. I gotta get the Jeep ready to go and we're gonna take the Jeep to the show and see how the veterans like it. Prizes. All right guys, we are at the Benyon VA car show. Tickets. Got Lieutenant Dan. Right here. Got people checking it out. This is a 78. 78? Yep. I said 44. <laughs> How do you like it? I want it, I want it, I want it. <laughs> How do you like it? Oh, I love it. All right guys, the car show was awesome. Saw some cool cars out there. Tons of people loved the Jeep. It was awesome to see my grandpa's reaction. That's the first time he's seen this Jeep in 20 years. He loved it. He thought it was the best car at the show. So that was pretty gratifying. Anyways, you can see behind me, I've started on my cardboard Ada design. Next video, we're gonna finish this patch. We're gonna make some supports for the seats and the floor. We've got a patch in the ceiling, a patch in the dash. We're gonna do all the fabrication work on the cab and get it ready for body work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.